Well, we're getting now to the more difficult parts of our UV mapping. I'm going to switch over to the texture view. And this is what we've done so far. We've done the shoulder, the tunic, the glove, and the leg. Um, I'm probably going to be mirroring these over, the uh, glove, the leg here, so I'm not doing the other side right now. But what I'd like to do now is these straps. Let's see what it's going to take to get these done. So I'm going to go ahead and select them, and I'll go back to solid view here. And let's figure out what kind of seams we need to mark for this. Um, I'm going to try and press Alt and select this edge right here. And that looks like it goes all the way down to here. I'll continue with Alt and Shift and clicking here. And that looks like it goes all the way around to there. So let's go ahead and mark a seam there. And I'll try the same thing down here, Alt and Select. And let's see how far that goes. Right about to here. And I'll press Alt and Shift and see what I can add to it, like that. And then down here like this. All right, I've got that. I'll press Control e and Mark Seam. Now let's come over here and let's work on the seam here. I'll press Alt and click. And that doesn't take me very far. How about let's continue on down here. I'm just pressing Alt and Shift. And then I'll press Control E and mark seam. All right, we've got those seams marked. Looks good. Let's come around here and do that to the back. I'll select this one and this one. It looks like that connected up, so I'll press Control E and mark seam. And how about over here? Let's try this. What I'm going to do is select this whole area with the L key. There we go. And for select linked, I'll come back up here for material. So that selects that entire torso. And now I'll press Shift H to hide all of that so I can work on this a little better and see if we're getting all the edges. So this helps. Yeah, I'll go ahead and remark this seam here now. And I'll do the same over here. There we go. Let's try it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the strap and press the L key again, but this time I'm going to switch back to choosing it or limiting it by the seam. And there we have just the strap. All right, let's go over to our UV editing view here. And with this selected, I'll press U and unwrap. Hmm, what do you think of that? That's not too bad, actually. I'm a little surprised at how well that turned out. It looks pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and work with that. So now what we can do is begin selecting these areas down here that have been um, marked out by the seams we just did. Let's take this now and press U and unwrap and see how that works. That's not bad. All right. Um, the next one Let's take a look at this right here. I think we're going to have to do something with this. Uh, we can't leave the arm or the glove here connected, so I better split this off. I'm going to select this edge with Alt-click, and then I'll press Control-E, and this time I'll choose Edge Split, just to separate that from the rest of the torso. And then I'll select this piece here. And let's just try and unwrap this. Actually, I think what I'm going to need to do is create a seam right in here, right underneath the arm. Actually, right here. I'll choose Alt and click that seam right there. And I don't need it to come all the way over, so I'll deselect these. We've already got the belt done, so I don't need that. Now I'll press Control-E and mark seam. 
There we go. Now if I hover over this and press L, I'll press U and unwrap. That's not too bad either. All right. Now, <laughs> the next part. This is the more complex part that we're going to have to actually think about. I'm going to come back to the default view here. And let's think a little bit about this. Well, we know we're going to need a seam down here, just like we had for this arm. We know we're going to need a seam down here like this. Well, and maybe let's make it more like this. There we go, like that. All right, so we know we've got that underneath the arm. Let's go ahead and mark that seam. We probably are going to need to split this head off like this as much as I don't want to, since this is all a continuous space or would be a continuous texture. I hate to break that up for fear of having a visible seam. But I'm not seeing, at least right now, another way of doing that. Actually, before I do that, let's just test this. I'm going to go back to my UV editing view and I'm going to hover over this and press L. Let's just test it. I'm going to press U and unwrap. Not great. Not great. Look at the, uh, the way the head just collapses in there. So that's going to have to be broken out. All right. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get away with just that seam on this. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to select this seam now. And I'll go ahead and select it all the way around to here and here. All right, so mark seam, do that. And then probably back here, I'm going to select this and then control click on up to here like that. Bring that seam up here, maybe not that high. And usually for a head like this, you want kind of a T shape, maybe coming off like this. And maybe they could connect up with the ears. Let's just test that. Control E, mark seam. All right, so with those seams selected, let's just hover over the head and select that. And let's just test these particular seams. I'll press U and unwrap. And that's a little better. So we can begin to see the face on here. I'm going to go ahead and select all of this with the A key and press R and rotate it a bit just to try and line up those texture pattern just so I can see it and take a look at this and see if there's a whole lot of stretching. It's not bad on the face and we've got the ears that are pretty stretched so it looks like we're going to have to select the seams for the ears around here like this. I'll go ahead and mark a seam. So I'll hover over the ear and press the L key and the head and press the L key and let's try these again. I'll unwrap this and see how the ear breaks out. That breaks out kind of oddly. We're going to need a seam there as well. Maybe a seam would be best down underneath the ear where we wouldn't see it very well. You always want to hide those seams whenever you can. So let's try this. There we go and try that again you and unwrap. That's better. That's looking pretty good for the ear. I'll go ahead and do that same thing for the ear over here. All right, with that ear marked, let's go ahead and unwrap this, see how it works. Now that is not looking too bad. There is a bit of stretching here around the face because these are a little bit bigger than the rest of the head. One way that we might be able to alleviate that is a seam down here. I'm not sure I want to do it, but I'm going to try it and see. Let's mark a seam right here and try this. A little bit better. I'm not sure I like the fact that these textures are a little bit smaller than the rest of the torso. 
but I can always arrange them and scale them in the UV editor. We're getting there. I'm not totally happy with it yet. But what we can do is we can test this. What I'm going to do is select everything just with the A key. And I'm going to come over here and with the A key select everything to make sure all the UV islands are selected. And then if you come down here to UVs, you can see you've got this average island scale and pack islands. So average island scale will make all of these proportionally the size that they are in the 3D view. And then pack islands will pack it all into the UV editor here, all into this square. So what I'll do is I'll press Control A, and that makes everything about the same size. And then I'll press Control P and to pack it in. Now it didn't pack it in very efficiently, and that's okay. I just wanted to test this. I think in the next video what we should do is work with the UV editing tools over in the UV editor to try and reproportion the face to match the rest of the body. So stay tuned for that in the next video.